do this. Help me a little bit, Harvey, in the back. These monitors are not working. Uh, uh, let me do this. The other day, the other day, Jamel, I went to buy a television. Yeah. 
uh, the, 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 I was at Best Buy and they came and they said, now here is uh, your standard definition. I asked them, what's the definition? They said, now this is standard. You, you get your quality in just a You'll get it in a standard definition. Well, you know, I'm getting a little old and my sight is not as good. I said, well, what's the next step up? They moved me over and said, now this is what is called high. No, 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 y'all not feeling me. I'm going somewhere with this thing. He said, now this is how the quality of this is just a little better. Oh, I wish I had praying folk up in here. He said, now your quality is just a little better, Brother Collins. And I said, but do you have anything any better than that? Well, he gave me some glasses. He told me to sit down and watch the TV. Watch this now. As I looked at the TV, it looks as if those people were actually standing there with me. I said now, uh, I asked Patrice, I said now, what is this? He said now this is what is called Blu-ray. He said it is the highest quality of a television. It's a smart TV. It, had, it comes with the highest quality. Beloveds, I'm trying to tell you, some folk can get by with standard definition type worship. It doing good. That's all they need, some SD. SD, do them written. There are others who have to have HD. Their quality has to be a little bit stronger. But we who here at Belfort, we worship in Blu-ray because we don't have job wish I had. We've got to have smart tele. I wish I had praying folks. We want the highest quality of praise. Are you hearing what? See, the reason why we feel like we feel is I don't know what happened to you on Monday. I don't know what happened to you on Tuesday. Our brother stood up and said that he had been detected, uh, 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 what's my word, diagnosed with cancer. I don't know what he's going through. So how in the world can I come in here and tell him he has to have SD when he want to have blue way whooshing? I'm taking this thing to the highest standard because he is so worthy to be praised. Beloveds, he needs the highest praise that we have. Now, I want to put a disclaimer in here today. I want to do it before we get started. We were singing, nobody said one word. Frank called up another song. After he sung, he called up another song leader. Nobody said one word. Now I'm preaching. Nobody ought to say one word. You just stay here till the spirit leaves. Is that all right? Welcome to the worship service. And I hope, trust, and pray that you're here for none other reason than to worship God. I hope you're not here because you're looking for a spouse. This is not the place. I hope you're not here because you're trying to find out what the latest fashion. Buy you a GQ magazine and keep on going. I hope you're here today because God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You can come in here with the spirit and not the truth and you haven't worshiped God. You can come in here with the truth and not the spirit and you haven't worshiped God. Now, now, now the and is a coordinating conjunction. And from my understanding, uh, 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 Sister Mary, whatever, what, whatsoever is on either side of the end is important. So we need the spirit and the truth. Man, I'm so glad you're here today. And I just want to continue our flow of teaching 
about our praise to God. So would you find in your Bible, Luke chapter 10, and I'm going to park somewhere around verse 17. Just bear with us. Uh, Harvey and them getting our speakers and our, can I light, uh, get our lighted candle cameras. That's why they're dim. Just, just pray. It takes time and money. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So you, if you are in Luke chapter 10, verse number 17, I want us to read down to verse 20. And it is our custom that we stand for the reading of the word of God. I'm going to ask you to read in concert with me. I'll start it. I want you to join in and we'll culminate at verse number 20. All right, you can start the CD in the back. We thank you now for joining us, those who are in Radio Land from KCOH Radio. We bring you greetings from the Church of Christ would meet at Belfort. We're asking that you get your pen, your paper, and join us in Luke chapter 10, verse 17, and few of the following verses. Luke chapter number 17, chapter 10, rather, and verse 17. Luke 10, verse 17. Let's read it together. And the 70 returned again with joy saying, Lord, even Gracious God Almighty, we thank you for this day, and we're praying that you move in your spirit. Lord, we ask that you would don this place with your presence. We love you, we honor you, and we thank you because you was not elected, so that means you cannot be impeached. You were not selected, so that means you cannot be turned down. Father, you are a mighty God, and it's all you. You have control over everything, the weather. You have control over death. You have control over life. Help us to submit to thy authority. And we'll be very careful to give you the praises, the honor, and the glory. And all of God's children said, Amen. You may be seated this morning. Today, I'd like to speak to you from the subject, you've got a license to praise God. You've got a license to praise God. You've got a license to praise God. Beloveds, the license mean permission. One's driver's license give him permission to drive. As a matter of fact, I only have a standard class A driving's license, which tells me that I cannot drive uh, an 18-wheeler because I'm not CDL. In other words, my license only permits me to drive my car. Walk with me now. I, I was going fishing with my brother, and, and he says, man, do you have a fishing license? Well, man, what do I need a fishing license for? He said, to fish. Now watch this. The license give me permission to fish. Beloved, I come here this morning to show you from the Bible without any reasonable doubt whatsoever that this morning we who are born again, blood washed, and in members of the body of Christ, we have a license to praise God. Now just stay on the bus. Just stay on the bus because we're living in a difficult situation. Man, the economy is bad. The government is corrupt. Jobs are unstable. Families are falling apart. And it seems that trouble is on every hand. And the Lord's people, we who are born again, the Lord's people are suffering. We're suffering. That's, that's hurt in the church. It takes us a long time to go around the church and listen to prayer requests because so many of God's people are such are hurting. We are suffering. And sometimes it's easy to forget or misunderstand Romans chapter 8, verse number 28, where the Bible says, For we know, not think, not feel, the text says, for we know 
that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and to them that are called according to his purpose. Now, this verse developed through the thought of the instructions of the end of verse number 27. The reason we miss it, because we miss the end of verse 27, where the Bible says, according to the will of God. It doesn't say that we who are Christians have special privileges and that we can just go through life, just easing through life with no pain. It doesn't say that you are exempt because you are a member of the body of Christ. It doesn't say that you are going to have uh, uh, just sunshine and no rain. Beloveds, I want you to know suffering still brings pain. Yes. Beloved, sin still brings shame. Loss and sorrow still hurt. I'm trying to tell you that believers are not exempt from difficulties. And this has been a hard year for my family. My family have been through some stuff, man. I'm telling you, what, 2012. I was so happy to see 2012 end until it was unreal. Both my wife and I was in the hospital. Both of us have, uh, have, have, have acquired some other health issues. Man, we struggle. And, and, and if, I, if you had the microphone, you can tell me about all the struggles you've been through. Amen. You've been through some stuff. And when we run to, 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 to Romans 8, 28, and say all things work together, then we want to know why the scripture is not working. Beloveds, all things, get from in Romans chapter 5 and verse number 3 and 4. I want to show you something. Under God's control, the final outcome would be good. But all things will not. Y'all send me your Holy Spirit because they're not going to help me at all. Watch this. Watch this. But it ain't going to change the word. Watch what the Bible says in Romans chapter 5 verse 3. Read. And not only so. Read. But we glory in tribulation. He said we glory in tribulation's train. He said when you are going through stuff, you got to learn how to glory. Read. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. He said you got to know that those tribulations that you're going through with, the end, it is working some patience in your life. Read. And patience and experience. Man, you got to see the progress. That is boom, 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 boom. Read. And experience hope. Man, without these tribulations, Without the patience, yeah. then there will be no hope. Yes, so count it all joy, yeah. not if, but when you fall into divers temptation. Beloved, you got to see this now because it's easy, it's easy to be uh, de defeated or discouraged or depressed. It's easy to lose your shout. It's easy to lose your shout. Why? Why? I think the reason is we lose our shout in the midst of our trials it, because we lose sight of our first purpose. Beloved, is it feeling good that brings us joy? We all like to feel good, but the verse didn't say that. Is it situations that, that, that makes us rejoyful? We all like to have great situations, but the text didn't say that. Is it getting my way that brings me happiness? We all like to have our way. But the text did not say that. Well, what is real joy? According to Jesus, real joy is not a feeling. It's not situations. It's not getting my way that brings real joy. Then what is real joy? Real joy is the blessed assurance to know my name is written in heaven. Yes, sir. Now that's what you ought to shout about. That's what you ought to shout about, that your name is written. You're going to see this thing. You're going to see this thing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Look at the text. Look at the text. You know, we text around here. Text. We can't preach it. Look at the text. Now, the disciples had been preaching and ministering in the name of the Lord. He had, they had came back with power. Man, look here. They were just excited. In this text, they were overwhelmed. They were overwhelmed. Man, they seen some things that happened. They watched some things that took place in the text. So when they get back to report to Jesus, they were happy. Mm. Lord! Yes, sir. 
Do you know what we experienced out there? Yeah. Watch this, y'all. Stay on the bus. Look at verse 17. The Bible says, and the 70 returned again with joy. Y'all got to help me. Watch this. They've been out preaching. They've been out teaching. Now they come back to Jesus. They are excited. Jesus, guess what we've experienced? Now, you see the word even in this text? The Bible says, he says, he said, the Lord, he said, even the devil. Now, the word even emphasized that there were some things that happened. And then they can climax with even the death. In other words, it would have probably went like this. Lord, we were healing the sick. We were giving sight to the blind. Yeah. Man, we were helping the lame. Even the devil yeah. was subject unto them. Beloveds, beloveds, we can understand that joy as they returned. They had watched Jesus, Andre. They had watched Jesus do these things, but they never had done them. So we can see why they were excited. We can see why they came back excited. We can understand their excitement. But look at verse 17 of the text. The Bible says, and he said unto them, Jesus talking, he said, I beheld Satan as lightning. He says, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. He said, behold, I have given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and power over, over your enemy. And none of these things by any means should affect you. He said, man, I have said, that's what I sent you out for. I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. I gave you that power. Because y'all not feeling me this morning. What I notice, notice, notice. He says, Man, I'm, that's not my major concern. I gave you that power. Man, you could walk. You, if we go back to Mark 16 and, and, and 18, he said, Man, I have even given you power to pick up poison and drink it, and it wouldn't hurt you. I've given you power to step on serpents and they wouldn't bite you. I've given you power to do whatever. I, he said, I even given you power, Angie, over your enemy. Man, that's power. In other words, when somebody come, that's your enemy. Don't worry about them because I made them your footstool. So watch this. Watch this, man. He said, now, it would be like this. Beloveds, what we do is not God's major concern. Man, God don't care about Robert and little Robert and Frank singing like that. He gave them power to do that. He don't care about you preaching like you preached this morning. He gave, man, I might not never preach like, like, like Robert Melton. He gave him power to do that. He's not concerned about that. That's what he gave you the ability to do. You know, we, we brag about Sister Washington so much how she's so hospitable and make people feel so comfortable. But let me tell you something. God gave her power. He's not excited. That don't excite God about her. He gave her that. He gave her that power. Look, 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 look. Look, look at verse 20. He said, not withstanding. You know what that word means in the original? Rather. That's all. Rather. Rather, he said, notwithstanding, Dennis, watch this, watch this, notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. Uh -huh. Don't come in here rejoicing because Satan has bowed down to you. Don't come in here rejoicing because you've healed a sick. Don't come in here rejoicing because you walked on water. The text says what? Don't rejoice in that, but read. Not, re not, not rejoicing not. That the spirits are subject Don't unto you. Rejoice, cause spirits are subject to you. Read. But, but rather rejoice. But rather rejoice. Because your names are written in heaven. Boy, it's a preacher right here. Y'all better not mess with me this morning. It'll be on up in here. Yes, he said, You rejoice not because of what you do, but you rejoice because your name is written in heaven. Heaven. That's why you ought to be in here shouting. Not because you like the song. No 
reason to rejoice. You like down home blues. You like me and Mrs. Jones by Billy Paul. Yeah. Don't act like, all right, don't go there. Don't go there with me. You know I know. It ain't always, always been heaven is on the other side. All right. He said, don't, re don't come back in here rejoicing for that. He said, Leonard, the reason you rejoice is because your name is wrote in the Lamb's book. Uh, Y'all got to stay on the bus now. I'm going somewhere. We ain't even got started yet. I'm trying to take this plane off. I'm on the runway. You got to see it. Beloved, I'm glad he said that. Because you know what? I've never cast out a devil and never will. Man, I'm glad he said that because I've never put my hand on somebody and they were healed. Man, I'm glad he said that because I've never walked on no water and you haven't either. Man, I'm glad he said that because I can't sing like Robert or, or Frank. I'm glad he said that. I can't preach like Paul. I'm glad. You see, Jesus put rejoicing in the reach of all of us. He put rejoicing where, where when our names are written In heaven, yeah. beloved, the only necessity, the only item necessary for rejoicing is being baptized for the remission of your sin, living a faithful life, and your name written in the Lamb's book. Man, if you've done those things, you've got a license to praise God this morning. If you watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. You remember, in Acts, boy, don't let me get too far off of this text, but I just got to drop this in. In Acts chapter 2, don't turn now, let, let, me, let me hasten. You remember those Jews? They killed Jesus. They, they murdered the Savior. And then in verse 36, he says, let all the house of Israel know for sure that the same Jesus that you crucified. God has made him both Lord and God. Now watch this, Robert. The Bible says when they got wind of that, they were pricked in their hearts. And they say, men and brethren, what shall we do? In other words, you got to feel it, man. He said, we've killed the Messiah. So what in the world shall we do? Man, they were looking for some, something that was going to be just well. Peter says, repent and be baptized. Every one of you. That's, that, that, that. If you want to rejoice, here's what you do. Just repent and be baptized. Every one of you for the remission, for the removing of what you've done. And the Bible says, he'll give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now don't miss this. Because in verse 47, he comes back and says, praising God, plus having favor with all the people. We got to get, see, we don't mind praising God. <laughs> I'm in your neighborhood, just say ouch. We don't mind praising God. Our problem is having favor with the people. Uh, you know, because if you don't live in my subdivision, I ain't got no, I'm on that thing. I'm on that thing, y'all. You know, if you don't drive like I drive, then you. Uh, uh, uh. So we don't mind praising God. Our problem comes with having favor. But he said, when you praise God, plus have favor with the people, it equals to the Lord adding to the church. You know why the church is not growing? Not because the power of the gospel has changed. For you remember Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Man, let me get back to the list. Man, I got a long way to go. Don't mess with me this morning, y'all. Watch this here. Man, if we could ever get grips that that's all it is. Beloved, watch this. You may not have a huge bank account. You might not have a great job. 
your health might be messed up. You might, but, but, but if you are a born again believer, you've got something to shout about. Yes, sir. Now watch this. I want to give you three things this morning, three things, and I'm going to get out of your way. I'm going to get out of your way. The reason you got a license to praise God. The first thing I want you to see is eternal salvation yeah. is your license Amen. to praise God. Now watch this. You got to watch it now. See, salvation, beloveds, listen to me. Salvation is a more than get out of hell free card. Yeah. It's more than that. Yeah. You see, you see, it's more than just wearing the name of Christian. Beloved, salvation brings with it some wonderful benefits that the believer have a tendency to forget when his back is against the wall. Now, 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 what I want you to do, just real quick, uh, 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 matter of fact, put it up for me. Get for me uh, Psalms 103. Let me show you some. That's some benefits in Psalms 103. Psalms 103. Watch this. Watch this. Psalms 103, verse 1. Bless the Lord. This is what is called an envelope psalm. It starts with the same thing that it ends with. Now, why, it's 11 verses in this psalm, which is the same amount of Hebrew alphabets. But watch this now. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that was in me, he said, bless his holy name. Watch this. Don't miss this now, because this is so important right here. He said, bless his holy name name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not. not his benefit man salvations bring with it a benefit packet yeah, yeah, can i yeah. can i just help you with it yeah. let me show you just a few of the benefits number one you get the benefit of relationships uh -huh. now i'm gonna slow down here i'm gonna to treat this like a school zone because now this is what's been hurting us number one we get the benefit of relationship at the very instant of our conversion, a new relationship is formed. It's formed. I want you to know something. The new, the new birth believer instantly, instantly become a child of God. Right. See, don't tell them I said this, but the Jehovah Witnesses struggle with that. Because they think you have to be right before them, before they can baptize you before yeah. them. But instantly... Instantly, you become First John chapter number three, and the and, and, and verse in the verses number number one, the Bible said, "Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God." He said, "For the world knoweth not them, because they knew it not Him." Man, we've got an identity crisis. We don't realize who we are. That's my boy right there. That's my son. My name's James Glenn. His name's Jamel Glenn. He get benefits because he's my boy. Yeah, yeah. This boy got benefits with me that this boy don't. Don't look at me like that. He, ain't, he don't have his benefits. This is his daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, boy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He said, we are the sons yeah. of God. That's a relationship, man. That's an instant relationship, Ronnie, that we get when we become members of the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Instantly. Instantly. You don't have to wait. You don't have to get good enough, if that's a word, mama. Don't fuss at me going home. She said, don't say good enough. You don't have to be, yeah, that. Watch this now. You, you got to get it. You got to get it. See, God is our heavenly father. Watch this now. He's our heavenly father, and we enter into a special relationship. Man, if I could get the church to realize who we are in Christ Jesus, if you could just realize how powerful you are in Christ, you would, do, you would stop holding your head down. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Not only do we get this special relationship, we get an adoption yeah. benefit. Right. Get from me, Galatians chapter 4, verse number 4. We get an adoption benefit. And you know what? Adoption now is not like adoption then. See, there are some good families who, who truly adopt for the right purpose. But then there are some families that adopt 
because you get a check. See, this adoption that we get is not connected with a check. Okay, read, 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 read. Come on. But when the fullness of time was When the come, fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. God sent forth his son. Made of a woman. Made of a woman. Made under the law. Ma made under the law. To redeem them. That were now under watch the this, law. watch this. To redeem them which were under the law. Read. That we might receive the adoption of sons. I told you you get adoption. We are now adopted. We are sons and daughters, and now we can cry. Our Father. Let me, boy, I wish I had about two hours right here. Yes, Let sir. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I got six kids, and hope they know how to ask their daddy. I can almost tell you when one's calling me what they want. Yeah. I can tell you, Roy. It's good to see you, man. Kid back there where he didn't have to preach. That's a old. I better leave that alone. I better leave that alone. Come to sit in the back of the church. But let me tell you something. If I get a call, Daddy, they want something. Are, are you are you hearing what I'm saying? They, 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 they're not just calling. They're not just calling. But if they say, Daddy, I say, all right, what you want? You know what? And let me tell you something. Nine, ten. Out of ten times, yeah. they gonna get what they asked for. Amen. But now they gonna get a story. They gonna get a sermon now. Yeah. <laughs> a speech. Okay. Before you know, you should have been saving your money. I've been teaching you. you know, they gonna get a sermon. Get Man, and our God is the same way. Amen. I don't know about you, but every now and then, whoo, when my back against get the against the wall. Yeah. I call him up yeah. and I say, Daddy, yeah. you just don't know what I'm going through down here. Yeah. The harder I try, it look like the worst. This that Daddy. Yes, sir. Daddy. Watch yes, sir. this. Boy, I got it. So mm, mm. but watch this. We we, we got both I am not gonna go to 2 Timothy 4, but it tells us that we've been redeemed. Yeah. But then watch this other benefit we get. We get a, the access. Benefit. Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 12. Man, when we, we get unlimited call. I was talking to my insurance company. Y'all pray for me tomorrow. Got a root canal. I don't like root canals and stuff. Yeah. Like I'm working in my mouth. Yeah. Last time that joke was in my mouth, he told me I don't know the difference between pain and uh, pressure. I said, you finna get that needle out of my mouth to this yeah. pain. <laughs> Yeah, I, so pray for me. Yeah. But now watch this, watch this. Watch this. Well, yeah, you finna back up, dude. This hurts. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't know. That was a commercial. I just stopped right there. Let me, let me keep going. But watch this here. Watch this here. Watch this here. Watch this here. Now, the insurance says that because this is a new year, yeah. I got a deductible. deductible. You know, I got to meet my deductible before I have access to the benefit. Yeah. Boy, y'all missing this thing. But now watch this. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 12, the Bible says what? In whom we have boldness. Now wait a minute. Not only do we have access, we ought to be able to go bold. Bold. Yes, sir. Read. And access. And we've got access. With confidence by the faith of him. Man, we got to have. See, see, see. You can't go saying, okay, Lord. <laughs> I need a job. Mm. Lord, yes, sir. I got this family. Mm. And I need to take care of them. Yeah. You need to put me in the right direction to work some things out. Yes, from, that's boldness, man. Mm -hmm. And then when you walk in, one of the reasons we can't, we don't know how to do interviews. Right. Nancy, when I go in, for, when, when I was interviewing, I showed them why your company need me. See, I was in sales, I, and I would go in and say, hey, man, look, you don't have to hire me because you need somebody. You hire me because I got a family to feed, and if I don't sell no cars, you don't have to fire me. I'm going to quit. Yeah. I'm going down the road because I got, it's six miles eat before I do. So I'm going to make something happen. You need me because I'm going to sell your cars. We got access to him, Donis. 
You got, man, do you understand what that means? Because you have access to him, that's a license to praise God. Man, you can take your burden. Get from Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 14. Watch this. Man, you can take your burdens to the Lord. Man, you can, let me tell you something. You can take your problems and he'll, you can find situation, you can find some solution. You can take your hurts to him because he'll heal you. He knows what you're going through. In, 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 in Hebrews 4, 14, the Bible says what? Four, Hebrews 4, that's my fault. Hebrews 4, 14, I'll tell you what it say. In Hebrews, are you there? Come on. Sin then. Sin then. That we have a great high priest. Man, we got a great high priest. That is passed into the heaven. He's passed, he's not here with us. He's Jesus. passed into the heaven. Jesus. Who is it? Jesus. It's Jesus. Son of God. Son of God, read. Let's hold fast for our profession. Watch this, read. But we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the plea. Man, he knows. He knows, Lemon, what I'm going through, man. He knows, man. He knows. He, he, man, he done went through. But he knows what I'm going through, man. So I can go to him with boldness. Yes, I was uh, uh, talking to, to uh, let me get back. Boy, I got a long way to go. Watch this, watch this. Don't miss this. Watch this. Watch it. Now, 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 there's a relationship, and then there's a renewal. Yeah. There are renewal. See, when a person comes to Jesus Christ for salvation, uh, some things are made new. And that's a license to praise God. Yeah. Let me tell you something. There, there's some things that I've done in my life my mama don't know about. There's some things that I've done in my life that I'm embarrassed about. Hey. There's some things that I don't want you to know about me because I'm your preacher. Yeah. Don't look like that. That's some things you done did. You don't want me to know because I'm your preacher. Man, Man I'm in bed. Okay, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> Friends say don't go there. <laughs> last Sunday, okay, I won't go there. I'll go here. Last Sunday, last Sunday, we were on the parking lot. Scott and I and everybody had pretty much left. We standing on the parking lot. And he said, oh, who is that coming out? Here comes some gang. And pray them for your preacher. See, I'm hit this church every day. And boy, they all kind of folk come up here. I mean, they come in here gaming. I'm talking about they, they professionals. And it gives you a hard heart sometimes. Gives you a hard heart. So I'm standing up there and I said, oh, Lord, here she come. So we were with our wives, so we walked off. Don't, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. We walked off. Watch this. We walked off. And when we got to the car, oh, she's just a cry, just a cry, just a cry. She said, they're down the street, a man down there, and I know I'm not dressed right, and he should have did this. I said, man, what do you want? She said, I need some gas. I said, oh, here's your $5. And I turned around and walked off. Scott says, well, ma'am, we'd like to invite you to come to our church. Our worship service is, man, I was so embarrassed. I felt like I was about that big. He's sitting out there talking about, I, I wish it, I, we have Wednesday night Bible class, and yeah. if you need us to come pick you up, uh, we'll come and get you, and we'll be here on Sunday. Man, I felt, I said, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I was embarrassed. Because I knew what you wanted. Get it and get on. That was the wrong. And you know what? I tried to apologize on the coup. I say, Scotty, boy, I really didn't mean to do it like that. He said, that's okay, Brother Glenn, that's okay. But let me tell you something. There are some things that I'm embarrassed about. Some things I've done in my life that I wish nobody, nobody knew about. Things I said, places I've been that I wish, but as a renewal benefit, the Bible tells us, watch this now. He said now in Colossians chapter 3, ver 2, verse number 12, he said, and being dead in our sins and uncircumcised in the flesh, he said, he had he quickened to gather, and he's forgiven all. All, that's not a sin that you've committed that God has not forgiven. And if that is not worth of shouting for, you ought to, 
right now. And you know what? Don't let no preacher, yeah. don't let nobody make you hold that over your head. Yes, God has forgiven you. Yes, that's the shout, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. We haven't forgiven ourselves. Now watch this. It's a continuous cleaning. In 1 John 1 and 9, the Bible said, if we just confess. Now, that, that really needs to be explained because he was talking to the Gnostics. The Gnostics believe mind and matter. So Jesus was not important. But he told them, he said, now, man, if you just confess your sins, he's faithful and, and just to forgive you. Man, that's enough to shout about. Yes, I sir. felt in my heart what I did with my brother, yeah. I sinned. Because yeah. Jesus in the soul saving business yeah. and I'm supposed to be one of his witnesses yeah. and I'm turning one of his children away. Yeah. Now you might not have never done that. I did. Y'all yeah. looking so holy. Brother Glenn, I just didn't. Brother Glenn, I didn't think you would do anything right, like that. Right. Ought to be shame of yourself. Your neighbor don't even know about Jesus Christ. And you've been living next door to them for a hundred years. You ain't told nobody on your job about that. And you got the nerve enough to judge me. Let me get back to the lesson. Watch this. Watch this. Let me tell you. There's a reward. There's a reward. It's the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm finna get tuned out. Because the church of Christ don't teach the Holy Spirit. I do. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Look this way. And I am filled with the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, Glenn, you, 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 and let me tell you something. If you're on your way to heaven, you need to be filled. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, get 5 and uh, 5, not 19, 18. Let me show you something. Ephesians 5, 19. Watch this here. Read. And be not drunk with wine. He said, don't you be drunk with wine. Wherein is an excess. And now you got to understand that that was a god by the name of Dionysus. He was the god of grapes. They would go down to Diana's temple, who was the god of love, and they would get drunk, and they would have all kind of sex. Orgies was going on. Yeah. So Paul writes to these people and say, be not drunk with wine in an excess. But read. But be filled. Be what? Be filled. Be what? Filled. With the spirit. I'm filled with the, with the spirit. spirit. Yeah, and that's why, man, that's why we teach like, if you're missing Wednesday nights, you don't know what you're missing. Because we took three months on the Holy Spirit. See, I was taught that the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the spirit was the same. They're not. Is an apple and an apple tree the same? Y'all well. got me all off my lesson. I need to be way over here. I have to try. Let me redirect. We were, we were coming into Houston, and it was storming. And the pilot said, we can't land this plane. So they redirected us and took us to Austin. Yeah. We had to land in Austin to the weather clear yeah. here in Houston. Are yeah. oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I done land in Austin. I got to try to get back to Houston. Watch this. Watch this. It's right here in the text. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I, I, I want to show you something about the Holy Spirit because I feel sorry for the Holy Spirit. Mm. It is one of the most misunderstood things in the Bible. It is one of the most misunderstood things in the Bible. Jesus tell these men, I tell you what, just, just let me just give you a little of this and I'll get back to the text. Go to John 16. Mm -hmm. John 16 and verse number 7. And somebody get hold, oh, because I know how, to, how we think. Somebody just get over to uh, John 17, because they're going to say, they're going to say, well, he was talking to the disciples. So, so I want you to get to John 17 and park somewhere, and, uh, and I'll be right there. I think it's going to be about verse 21, but don't go there yet. Look, look at what he says in verse 7. Let me read this. He said, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. He said, it is expedient for you that I go away. Jesus told his disciples, man, it's expedient that I go away. I have to leave you. He says, for if I go not, the comforter will not come unto you. 
but if I depart, I will send him unto you. Jesus told these men, it is expedient. It's expedient. Watch this, man. The word simply means it's profitable that I leave you. I've got to leave you. Why? Why do you have to leave me, Jesus? Because if, if I don't die, then I can't remove sin. If I don't die, watch this, then I can't defeat death. If I don't die, I can't go back to the Father. If I don't die, then the Holy Spirit cannot come. If I don't die, then wherever I am, that's where the Spirit is going to be. In other words, if I'm over here and the, the Spirit is not over there because the Spirit is over here. But if I die, the Spirit can be over here and still be over there because the Spirit is not with you. The Spirit is in Watch this. Watch this. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. So Jesus says, I've got to go. And, 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 and I'm going to send to you a comforter. Man, this comforter, is, this comforter, this comforter remind me, when we first got married, we were poor, Paula. I'm telling you, my mother-in-law gave us a comforter. They had slept on it. The boys had slept on it. Now we sleeping on it. That thing was wide. It started off about that thick. When we got it, it was about like this. <laughs> so when I sold a few cars, mama said, babe, can I buy a new comforter? And I looked. We was able to pay the bills and a few dollars left. I said, yeah, babe, get your comforter. I'm at work. Man, I'm going to get under that comforter tonight. I'll be able to sleep up under my comforter. I got out and I ate and I went in the room and somebody had stole the comforter. Y'all yeah. missed that thing. Come on, let me help you see it. What she did was fold a comforter up and put it in the closet. I said, Mama, where's the comforter? She said, Oh, babe, that's for looks. <laughs> Come on up in here. Don't act like you don't know what I'm. You got some towels in your house for looks. Yeah. Nobody better not touch them towels. And that's the way we've done the Holy Spirit. We fold it up, put it in the closet, and say it's for looks. But you got to be filled with the Spirit. The Spirit has to dwell in you. The Spirit guides you. The Spirit leads you. The Spirit teach you. You need the Holy you think you can live day to day without the Holy Spirit you are wrong man let me I'm trying to get back to Houston Robert hold on a minute I'm trying watch this watch this well let me let me let me do this boy you know what I like about the Spirit the Bible says no man can pluck it out of your hand now get this you can pluck it out by a raunchy lifestyle, but no man. See, this is what frightens me about us. This is what we teach. Now, here's how we teach. Do you not know the same grace that saves you, keeps you? Here's what we do. Be careful, because you're going to die in your sins. We gonna... Can I help somebody? Let me tell you this. That verse, that chapter, is it 12, 8? Is it 8? Yeah, John 8, John 8, 24. Let me tell you, don't, don't get that because I got to get back to the text. Man, watch this, watch this. They say, now, if you die in your sins where I'm at, you cannot come. Let me tell you this. If you go back and get the context of the text, it'll make all the difference in the world. Jesus came and says, I'm the light. They say, you're not the light. Jesus said, yes, I am the light. He said, even according to you, two or three witnesses, I'm the light. They say, Jesus, you're not the light. Jesus said, okay, well, go on then, and you're going to die in your sins, and where I'm at, you cannot come. Now, how we get what we get out of that? How we come up with that, man, the same grace that saved us keeps us. We act like God don't want us.
to be saved. We act like he's doing this, okay? You, you, went to see the, you went to visit the sick. I give you a check. Yeah. Ah, you passed up a hungry man, you get a minus. Yeah. Uh, you did this, you get another check. Yeah. Uh, you got a check, you was on time. Uh, didn't come to Wednesday night Bible class, you get a minus. Now you die. Let me total them up. Yeah. You got more checks yeah. than you do minuses, so you go going to heaven. Yeah. It don't work like that, man. Like that. You are saved by grace. Let me, let me move, let me move, boy, let me move, let me move. Boy, that's a license to praise God. Because I don't know about you, I make some mistakes sometimes. And I'm glad God's grace, we sing about it. Yeah. Your grace and mercy, we sing about it. But then when it comes down to using it, we don't do it. We do that about a lot of songs. Let the spirit of the Lord ride. And when the spirit got to get to ride, well, what you singing for? You don't believe it, don't sing it. 